when I first came here, CSEA, as the executive vice president, now almost 20 years ago, we, we were a good organization, no question, but we were always introspective. We weren't looking at what the future could hold. We were trying to be big, the big fish in the little pond. We've understood since then, not just because of me, because of the members have come forward and said we have to grow. We have to be out there for those other people who need a good union, a great union, because there are too many workers in this state and in this country that are not being represented properly by the right kind of people out there. When you're, when you're in a union, you want people that really care about you, that want to, they want to make sure you have a future and you have hope out there. It sounds kind of Pollyanna or melodramatic, but when you're out there making decisions that mean people can or can't work, where they have to work two jobs, whether or not a husband and wife can even see each other, whether the kids can go to college, whether they can keep their home, these are all important issues, and we take it for granted every day, but those are the jobs and the lives that we're responsible for. We've had rallies against the governor and on the steps of the state capitol and in towns and villages around the state, but it's being on that picket line in that small school district where suddenly you're talking to people who, who know that why are you here? You're the president. You know, you got to be more important than this. No, I'm not. You're, you're vitally important to me. Every member is. I don't want to give up one member because we, we, we've done something wrong or we haven't done something right. I want to be there, and, and that's one of the reasons I don't believe you got to be in an office. You've got to be out there amongst those members to understand what this union's about. This union is a living, breathing thing. And if we do nothing else but remember the lives and the people we represent, just not our members, but also our staff, our job is to make it better for everybody. And if we make it better for everybody, how are we hurting anybody? We're all taxpayers. We're all in this thing together. We need to realize that public service is honorable, it's valuable and necessary. But we need the public to understand we need them and they need us. Our members are really very decent people. They care about issues. Everybody's parochial though. I recognize that people are only concerned with the things that hit them right in the face at times. Our job and the union's job is to remind them that we're all in this together that we all make a difference. That when that school district person's out there saying, well, I'm only concerned with my stuff, not about the county stuff, those people in the county vote on your budgets. They're there to be effective on you. You have to have an interrelationship with them. The people in the county need the interrelationship with the state people. The state people need it with Washington. We're all in this thing together. The toughest thing is to remind our members that we need each other. I love as the president standing there saying, I'm the president of almost 300,000 members. You know what? I need every one of them, and they need each other. They may not always understand it, and it's my job to remind them, or whoever sits in this chair's job to remind them, but it's our union, all of our union. I think our priorities should be, one, to enjoy the anniversary to begin with and then to tighten up the belt and remember the next hundred years is tomorrow, that we have to be ready tomorrow to make changes. We're facing tough economic times. We know that things in counties, towns, and villages are really in trouble right now. We know the state's in trouble. We know things are going to get tougher. We have to make sure our members understand we're here to help them. We're here to work with them, but they have a responsibility to be the union. This is, a, as I said before, it's a member-driven union. The staff is not going to be able to do it alone, and the officers can't do it alone. Once you elect somebody, the job's not over. That's the beginning of working together to make our union a better union.